Hey guys, Levi here with Trident Fly Fishing, and today we're going to be tying a three feather sand flea. This is a Bob Popovics pattern. Really good, really lifelike, has a lot of motion in it, and it does a real good job at imitating sand fleas, mole crabs, whatever you want to call them. And for a hook, we are using an Arex FW550. Oh, that's still not right. Um, any saltwater appropriate jig hook is gonna be just fine. But I tend to like this one because of its nice wide gap. So let's lay some Unimono down. This is four thousandths in diameter. And we're gonna run that all the way back to the bend of the hook shank. All right, so just like the uh, name of this fly implies, this is tied with three saddle hackles, and we'll use probably a lot more than that because what we're going for here is all this fuzzy stuff down here. This is gonna create our body, and it's gonna flow really well, and we're using three separate colors. We have a tan, gray, and a pink. Probably only gonna use pink for the first turn, and then from there, we're gonna move away from it just so that it doesn't sort of shout its color out too much. So when I tie these in, since we're looking for just this webby stuff, I wanna get rid of the stuff down here, cause that's where we're gonna be our tie in point. We don't want to tie materials in down here where the stem is thick because we won't be able to wind it onto our hook shank. So let's go ahead and prepare all three of these feathers as so. good and we'll just stack these on top of one another and we're gonna wind them all at the same time it's a pretty simple fly and anywhere these mole crabs are found it's gonna be a hot producer I use it in Florida I've used it in Jersey I've used it in Massachusetts and uh, the Long Island area with success but I'm sure there's certainly other places that it can go all right, so we have our three feathers here for the first section of this fly, and we're gonna tie them in just facing us. Position them if need be. Sometimes they run away from you. And the hardest one is definitely right here because of the hook point. You can probably hear me ticking it with my thread. All right, so clip that out. All right, so now that those are locked in, we're just gonna palmer them forward all together. It'll give you some nice blend of colors but just be mindful of the hook point there as it can be troublesome. Get in there and tie them off once you get two or three wraps and get a wrap or two in front of it before you snip those out of the way. And then I'm gonna come in here and just clean this up before we tie our legs in and it also works to position these fibers so they're facing towards the hook point, which is what you want. Once you get that seated, get in there with your bodkin and just free up any trapped fibers. Sometimes when you're grabbing three hackles, it tends to get stuck. Clean that up just a bit and then move into these silicone flutter legs, color tan. We want to measure these out to be just beyond the hackle fibers. Tie them in side nearest us and you can reposition as necessary. And then fold them over to the other side. Snip that out of the way. Want to make sure those are right on either side. All 
right. That's good with me. These are just kind of bugging me, so I'm gonna stiff them out of the way. Let's come in now. Another three feathers. When you're selecting feathers, as you'll see, I'm going for equal barb length and everything to be sort of similar. I'm only gonna use pink on that first tie, like I said, so we'll just use two feathers on this um, section. So whenever we're selecting our feathers, see where that stem gets thick and you can't wrap it any longer, that's where we're gonna go ahead and peel those fibers off. Just, you know, grab them with your index and your thumb and pull opposite to the stem. They come right off, it's a real easy thing to do. And tie them in right on the side nearest you. that tied in and snip off the stems. We're gonna break those stems and get to winding. Give you two turns, three if you can. There we go. And tie those off. With these natural feathers you're gonna find that some have a better stem to wrap and others are on the thicker side of things so you kind of have to cherry pick your feathers prior to tying or while you're tying. That looks good to me. Come in with the bodkin, free up anything that may be trapped. that one. Just get a couple of thread wraps there and come in with our silicone legs. Again, measure them just a little longer than those hackle fibers are. One side, pull it over and do the other and you'll see this mole crab shape coming together real nicely right now. And this fly just breathes super well in the water. All right, so moving into our last feather. Again, we're just gonna use the tan and gray. We're gonna prep these feathers just like we've been doing. Rip that off right where the stem gets thick. This one has a little thinner stem, which is good. It's gonna buy us a little extra wrap or so. so. And get those tied in just like we've been doing on the side nearest you. Actually, got a little, little more thick stem than I'd like. Let's get that out of the way. Alrighty. Before we wrap these, we're gonna come on in with some dumbbell eyes. We're using these double pupil orange lead eyes because the orange does a really good job at imitating that egg sac that's apparent on a lot of female mole crabs. You could certainly use uh, standard lead ones, but I like the, the orange accent. It just kind of draws some attention to the fly. So get that wrapped in with some figure eight wraps. Nice and tight, and you can hit this with whatever adhesive you like, whether it be UV, super glue, something like E6000, whatever is your go to adhesive to lock those in. All right, break those stems on your feathers and just palmer them in now. And that looks like all the space I need to cover, so I'm gonna come in and wrap those feathers in, and lock them in place. And clip away the excess. Be sure not to clip your thread. And if you guys like this fly or have some questions, comments, anything like that, toss that in the comments below because we always like to know 
what our viewers are doing. You guys in New Jersey, this is a pattern that you're gonna want in your box. Really anywhere these things are found. Florida, I'm sure as kids, a lot of us probably caught these things with a shovel and pail. I know I did. All right, that looks good to me. We're gonna come in with our last set of silicone legs measure them to be just beyond that marabou like we've been doing and then fold it over get the other side clip that out of the way and this one get in there with our bodkin one final time and i'm gonna just trim a little spot here for our mallard feather to lay so it doesn't get propped upward you don't want to measure this mallard feather so that the tip of it extends right about to that fluffy hackle feather. You don't wanna get it all the way up here because then the feather is gonna fight, or your hook is gonna fight the stem of the feather. So let's measure that right to the point and get it locked into the loose wrap. And I'll clip this out of the way. Clean this head up a little bit and then we're just about finished. There you go. Hit it with a whip finish. And that is a three feather sand flea. I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.